Good afternoon, everyone. This is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com, and this is the market outlook for the week starting with Monday, January 28, 2019, uh, and also stocks on watch for this week. We're going to begin with the Qs. Uh, this is the weekly chart, and the Qs have, have had a pretty strong move into uh, this week, uh, actually trying to erase last week's high. Left the bottoming tail, uh, we left the 10 EMA behind, with still some turbulence ahead into the 167.20 zone. As long as we're trying to break over these highs, the 166 is gonna be the big line in the sand, we still have a little bit of room left into the 167 and back into the 170. If throughout the trading session, we're gonna try to erase the 173 level, then I think that the pretty much the big strong trend is gonna continue for higher. So we've been actually trading in a very, very strong trend uh, for many, many years now. But uh, what happened was that we had a big scare and this came on uh, into, uh, into November. Uh, and uh, also the dip that was formed on relatively high volume uh, December 24th, where we have reversed and we have continued higher. Uh, certainly, we are not yet out of the woods and things are pretty much on a 50-50, uh, looking basically to a 50-50 shot here. So uh, if we progress higher and if we take out these highs of 166, definitely we're gonna work ourselves higher. Uh, we still have a lot of turbulence all the way into this prior high, basically the 174 to the 175. If we continue the constructive work and if uh, we're going to have uh, strong earnings that are basically going to fuel the indices for higher, uh, we could definitely speak about a breakout over the 175 and then we're going to have a continuation of the monster trend that we have been trading in for uh, quite some time now. Uh, so from a, a micro level, a little bit of a micro level, what we have going on right here is, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. We had a very shallow pullback buy throughout this trading week. Uh, we had the really nice pinning effect into the 160 level and rotation back up, uh, pretty much trying to erase the 166 level. Still, have, we, still we have not taken out the 166 and we have uh, closed a little bit weaker this week than last week. but. Uh, we're basically trading in the same resistance area. As long as we are having all these moving averages uh, below the price, below the support level into the 160, I think this is gonna be a move that it's gonna probably power up back into the 167, back into the 170, and back into the 171. And then it's gonna be a matter of time if the price is going uh, to trade into this vicinity into the 170, I think it's gonna be a matter of time before we break out higher into the 175. Just wanna highlight two events that uh, we have this week. First of all, we have earnings, and we have some pretty powerful earnings that are scheduled this week. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, Caterpillar that is uh, due to report on uh, Monday before the market opens. We also have AK Steel after the market closes and Whirlpool. So we have a lot of stocks that are reporting on Monday. Tuesday, again, it's gonna be a very big day. It is the day where Apple is going to report earnings after the close. We also have Amgen. So we have a lot of stocks, Juniper, et cetera. So we have a lot of tech stocks that are uh, just starting their uh, earnings period. Also on Wednesday, Wednesday is gonna be a big day for the market. Uh, Pre-market, we have FABA and Boeing that are going to report earnings, also some other stocks as well, but these are some of my major watches uh, for Wednesday morning before the market opens. And we also have at two o'clock the FOMC meeting minutes. Now we did have a little bit of pop in oil, uh, I'm sorry, in, uh, in gold, and this was uh, on hopes of uh, a non-rate hike, and we're gonna see what uh, gold is gonna do for throughout this week. Uh, but uh, that's a different topic and I'm gonna explain more uh, about uh, gold and gold's trajectory in the futures video. Uh, after the close on Wednesday, we have uh, reports uh, from uh, Facebook, Microsoft, Tesla, Visa, Win. Uh, Win is also uh, on my list of stocks to watch this week, Qcom, and then again, Cree, these are again, some very strong tech stocks. Um, and uh, I'm talking about the Facebook and Microsoft and Qcom. Uh, also on Thursday, we have General Electric, 
uh, and uh, this is before the open and uh, after the close we and also MasterCard and we also have after the close if I recall correctly on Thursday we have Amazon and we have uh, Aflac and uh, I think that's pretty much uh, everything that I have on my list so far and Friday uh, so, uh, oil, uh, energy, uh, Exxon, um, we also have Chevron, we have Merck, Honeywell, uh, Sony, and these are some, some of the stocks that I recall that uh, are on my watch list as well. So uh, let's continue with the cues. Like I said, if we're going to try to break above this 160, then we're going to go back into the 170. I'm going to go back here to the weekly chart because uh, if we break below 160, then things are going to move uh, uh, south and then we're going to have probably a continuation back into the 155. And uh, from a measure move from this swing low to swing high, about a 50% measure move would be uh, right about into the 155 level, which would be a high confluence zone deriving from these prior lows that, were, uh, that we have... Uh, uh, traded in the same vicinity of the price into the 155 back in April. Rotation at this point, uh, there are two things that can happen here. We could actually uh, go back for a cone fill back into the 145 level, and therefore we're going to continue with the downtrend that we are pretty much trying to set up and the market was trying to set up since uh, creating the high in October and the new low in December. So we have a high, two lower highs right here if we do the complete rotation below 160. And then full cone completion back into the 145, and this would uh, actually bring the price even much lower back into the 135. So uh, I think time is going to be the essence here to see what the price development is. So we have to take it one day at a time and definitely select some uh, some trades that um, swing trades that we could actually monitor on a daily basis. Uh, all right, so uh, like I said, if we break 166, we're going to go back into the uh, 167 and 170. If we break 160, we're going to go back to the 155, and these are immediate price actions. All right, uh, let's continue with the SPIs, and uh, pretty much same pattern within the SPIs, bottoming tail off the 10 exponential moving average, trying to close in on uh, last week's high into the 167, actually the prior week's high into the 267. If we break the 267, zone in fact we need to break the 266.67 and then 267 267 25 and we're off to the races back into the 270 and like I said a big influence is gonna be the FOMC meeting minute and all these big big stocks that are going to report earnings this week it's gonna be a very very busy week uh, also from the daily perspective like I said small small steps in um, um, in in these stocks right now so if we break above the 267 zone we could have a pretty wide open range into this 269 271 and back into this 274 to 275 zone but if we break below 260 260 is going to be the line in the sand for a correction lower I don't see the price going really steep to the downside perhaps it's going to halt into the 260 66 that uh, uh, the support level from the, these prior lows into the 256 are probably going to uh, see a reaction around this area depending on price whether bullish we're going to pop from this area or bearish we're going to actually try to come in back into the 250 zone all right so this is what i uh, i see in the market uh we're gonna uh we're gonna go to the diamonds and then we're gonna go through uh the stocks that i have on my watch list and this week is a pretty consistent week so um in stocks that I have uh, in stocks that I'm watching all right so we have support here at the 242 from the daily uh, we're coming in very close to this 200 simple moving average and also into this prior resistance that is creating minor uh, uh, minor minor resistance at this point between 148 and 150 uh, if we're gonna see a further continuation higher above the 250 then we release more buying pressure that's gonna take the price back to 255 and in this case, we're going to pretty much dissolve all these prior highs that are uh, creating this minor resistance at this price level. And we could probably talk about a continuation higher. So pullback buys are going to be on focus, uh, con uh, on focus. So what we have, what we had last Friday is a doji and uh, pretty much on Thursday we had a doji as well. But you can see that here we popped up a little bit, very neutral price action. So definitely it's going to be very interesting to see how the market is going to open. The futures market is going to open in about three and a half hours and uh we're gonna see what's uh what's what the tone is set what the tone will be for uh for that time frame but 
nonetheless support 141 if we break the uh the 241 i'm sorry the 242 level we can come in back into the 240s like i said because of the support level on the left hand side into the uh 237 we may see some kind of balancing uh um, balancing into this area on relative weakness and of course depending on earnings and depending on fomc if we get to this point and if we crash below this point and if we take out we slice through the 237 we're going to probably end up into the 235 to 233 level and this is going to be the next decision point uh it, the more we consolidate bullishly at this level into the 247 to 248 the more we digest these prior highs to the left hand side and also this 200 flat 200 simple moving average that is putting a lot of selling pressure on price right now and we can rotate and probably move back into the 255 and 260s all right here are the stocks on watch for this week first and foremost kmi and i'm going to start with the weekly charts uh, KMI left the bottoming tail and left the moving averages behind and is trying to dissolve all this resistance to the left hand side. So this is actually very, very constructive for price at this point. What I do like about this stock is actually the monthly look on it. We have completed a monthly reversal over $17.50. We still have some turbulence into the 1860. So definitely this is going to be on watch. Uh, it's going to be on a daily watch for me because uh, I want a tighter stop for this portion of the swing. I'm looking at a risk level of $16.91 and I'm looking for a blast over $18 and change, $18.10 to be more precise. So KMI on my list. I really like the look of it. Uh, bullish uh, uh, no doubt about it. So the next stock, MGM. So there are a lot of casinos right now uh, on my watch list that are relatively strong. Uh, and uh, one of the things that I really like is that we're getting very strong monthly influence. And uh, even in the indices, we're almost, so we, we just have another week next week. It's gonna be the last trading week of, the, of January. And uh, if we try to push a little bit higher, it's gonna, February is gonna look really good for us for a more um, um, bullish transition uh, and uh, testing higher uh, price levels. So that's, technicals are gonna look really, really great. Uh, the moment we broke through the 2820 level, we advanced to 28, uh, 2870 is, the, is where we have actually closed on Friday. You can see a little bit of turbulence here deriving from this prior high and this is, uh, this is from 2014. Uh, so 2014, this is the uh, resistance right here at the 2880 80 area. If we blast through this area, it opens up a wider range back into the 31, 30, uh, 32, 35, and back into the 37 area. So I really like the way this stock is shaping up. From the weekly perspective, we're just having continuations higher. And in fact, last week, we have triggered another continuation uh, from pr the prior week's high. So we still have room all the way into the uh, into the tw $29.50 to $30 level. Like I said, this prior pivot low, um, and uh, this is from uh, this is from 2017. Uh, I'm sorry, 2016 in October. This is going to be the big area that we need to digest. Uh, digest. So immediate price action for this. We're going to be watching obviously the daily charts for a break over $29 and the risk associated with this uh, with the trade will be $27. Okay, here's LVS, another uh, another casino, Las, Las Vegas Sands. Um, we have had a really strong consolidation on the daily chart, $55. Uh, resistance is at $58.20. Um, there's a really nice solid cluster developing on the monthly chart. So you could see that for the last almost four months, we have been consolidating between $47 and $59. If we try to break above the $59, there's no doubt in my mind that we're gonna head higher into the 63, 65 and back into the 70s. Uh, the weekly chart doesn't look too shabby at all. It's trying to digest a flat 200 simple moving average at this point. And this is what this cluster was all about, was the price digesting these uh, uh, this 200 simple moving average and also that prior resistance from 2016. And uh, you can see that a left bottoming tail here uh, into the 10 simple, 10 exponential simple moving average and also into the 20 simple moving average. And the price is trying to accelerate higher above $58.20. And if it will cross this line, in fact, this week we're going to need uh, 57, uh, 57 uh, I'm sorry, 57.67 in order to blast higher, continuation higher. No doubt in my mind, we're going to head, technical show that we're going to be heading into the $60.60 .60, uh, 
uh, uh, 63 and change. Uh, next stock on the list is WYNN. Uh, WYNN, I'm going to talk about the weekly chart in first. Uh, again, the, the, and all casinos are pretty much have the same setup with a nice thick cluster onto the monthly chart. Uh, digestion of the prior highs and accelerating higher. And again, this week, if we're going to trade above the $119.30, we can see an acceleration higher. The next resistance is going to be into the $124.50. And then we're going to be heading higher back into the $130. So this is going to be again on my watch. Daily chart just broke out the 116 level. The risk associated with this trade has to be into the 106. Uh, if you want to use a tighter risk, you can use this platform into the 111 and 20 cents. Like I said, it does have room for a continuation higher, at least into the 121.50, 125, and into the 130. Uh, also, another stock on my watch list is IDXX. Um, IDXX, and I am going to start here with a monthly chart. IDXX, really nice. Um, uh, reversal off of the monthly chart and this is very constructive for price you could see that we have pretty much been in a very strong uh, very very strong uptrend 2017 2018 was an amazing year for this stock pullback and reversal and again this is going to be the br uh, the breakout point the high is uh, 209.49 over 209.50. This is ready to continue higher to fill this void back into the 256. IDXX, top of my list. Uh, the next find is JD. And uh, JD has a very interesting monthly reversal that has actually triggered last week in over $23.41. Uh, the weekly chart suggests uh, that it's trying to round up a little bit. Look at the, all the bottoming tails right here, trying to push the price a little bit higher. Once it digests, this $24.40 is off to the races. $27.50 uh, $27 is going to be the first target on it. JD to the bullish list. AMAT. Uh, AMAT also very, very strong. I'm going to start with the monthly chart. Very nice monthly uh, reversal. Uh, we last week we broke uh, we broke about thirty eight dollars and seventy cents. We continued higher. We're in uh, uh, into a bit of selling pressure here into the forty dollar area, uh, but because we have uh, we have we have had a, such a strong January so far, I think that it's, it's we're just digesting this forty dollar zone and we're ready to tackle new highs. Weekly chart uh, testing the prior high into the thirty eight. This was the first obstacle. The next target uh, inside is going to be the. $41 and it does have room for expansion all the way to the $44.70. So AMAT to the bullish list. ROST, uh, this is uh, uh, Ross Stores. And again, uh, looking at the monthly chart, we have already triggered at $89.17. We're ready and we're trading into an open void area to about 104 and uh, so we still have a lot of room. The weekly chart, is, we're trading within the parameters of last week. This is a really nice pin off the 34 simple moving average. If we trade above $92.79 um, 90, $92 is going to be the trigger. This uh, is going to accelerate higher. The fact that we have our stabilizing at this point and this week we're having an inside week is because we're trying to digest the resistance from the prior price action. And this is from October, last October at $93.66. But definitely the charts look so good continuing further and they really promote a continuation higher. And in fact, we'll see how this week is going to pan out with all the news and earnings that are coming out. But definitely this is going to be a really nice watch for next week. Daily chart, base. The bottom of the base into the $89.25 breakout over $93.30 is going to carry the price higher. Uh, probably, and here's the thing, we're going to have a turbulence area because of the left-hand side here, and we have this cluster, but once we eliminate this cluster, the more we trade into the 95 and 97, uh, we actually have projections for $100 and $104 and even more beyond that. Uh, sell gene. This is one of my favorite stocks to trade because it's uh, pretty. It has pretty impressive moves. Uh, since it gapped up and it's basing right now, and this is the daily chart. 
uh, this can be a breakout over these highs, over $88.90. And we're gonna show you exactly why. Weekly chart, we have a raw, really strong base right here into the $84. Don't forget that this was an $140 back in 2017. So um, $84.40 for support. Resistance is at $89.15. If we pop over these highs, we still have a bit of digestion left all the way to the 93, 93 and change, but then we can escape into a much larger tradable void all the way to 100 and 106. I really like the way it is trading and the weekly chart just looks perfect for a continuation higher. Also eBay, I brought eBay to your attention uh, last week as well. And uh, eBay was one of the first uh, uh, first stocks to actually do a really strong reversal to the upside and trigger uh, actually has relative strength compared to the market and uh, monthly chart uh, reversed at $30.40 40 and continuation higher. Now we're back into resistance right here, uh, very close to $35. Depending on how we digest this area, we may be able to continue higher. I really like the weekly chart. I think that if we're gonna push through uh, $34.76, this is gonna be the trigger. Uh, it's going to have a target into the $38, $40, $41, $42, and up. So it does look really good for, um, it looks bullish, at least for the next two weeks or so. Uh, CDNS, CDNS. Okay, CDNS is also on my list uh, because it has a really nice monthly reversal. So a lot of monthly reversals that are happening right now and pretty much setting for a full throttle uh, move ahead. Third, uh, uh, forty-six dollars uh, and seventy-four cents is the high. If we blast over this high, guess what? We're gonna have uh, uh, more upside to it. So what I want to do is that I want to put the weekly chart up to show you that this is basically a range that we're uh, that we're uh, actually looking at working on breaking here. I mean, the stock is working on breaking here. So I'm just gonna do uh, I'm just gonna do some quick projections for the stock since it is trading at all time highs. So I see it continue into the fifty dollars and into uh, the fifty two dollars and change. Really like the structure of this chart as well. WBA is the next on my list. I know it's gonna be a little bit longer video this time. Uh, but WBA is on my list. Uh, as you can see, let me show you the monthly chart. Okay, this is the month of December. It came back down. Actually, we didn't take out this prior pivot low, so we actually stabilized above this prior pivot low, which is double bottom right here, double bottom lift. And right now we're trading into this 20 simple moving average. Now, on the weekly chart, let me just erase this real quick. All right, on the weekly chart, uh, the weekly chart is uh, pretty much uh, uh, stabilized here, has stabilized here, and last week we were, la la all last week we were trading within the prior week's range. I think we're ready for a continuation higher. This is actually a very bullish pattern. $72.43 is gonna be the trigger for higher, and I see targets all the way into the 75 and 77. So this is WBA. Uh, very nice, uh, this is Walgreens, very nice looking stock. Boeing is going to report earnings this week, yet it's still going to be on my list uh, because it has a very strong consolidation. So maybe we will consider some options for this week. Um, and it has a very strong base into the uh, into the 310 area and a blast over the 375. Let me just go to the monthly chart right here. Uh, a blast over 368, uh, no, 367.33. Uh, it's going to bring much higher prices. It's a very strong consolidation here on the monthly chart. So it is definitely ignoring whatever the market was doing in that steep pullback. Uh, it's still holding on extremely well. And as you can see right here, back in 2018, this is a 2018 high. Uh, January high, this is how we close. This is February right here. We're back into the January, February level. So very, very strong stock. I think it's poised for a continuation higher and did some projections and the projections are amazing. So they look to take out $400 with these, 420, 434. These are a longer term, uh, longer term trade that is where it is heading. So really strong technical pattern. Weekly chart, like I said, it needs to digest this 380 and it's off to the races. Okay, this is Boeing. 
Apple, we are continuing, we continue to be an Apple. This is a trade that keeps on giving. So really beautiful, beautiful move. We took it off uh, the daily reversal. We're, uh, we have exceptional wins and we're, we're up uh, uh, tremendously in the stock. I think that if it's gonna break this, uh, if it's gonna break this high of one uh, 160, it's gonna have a further a further trajectory higher back into the uh, back into the 163. So it's trying to erase some of the losses uh, from uh, uh, from December and from November. Uh, very nice looking stock. As as far as the daily chart goes, uh, I wasn't gonna talk about it, but it looks like it really wants to break out here on the daily as well. So it looks very, very good for a continuation higher, like I said, back into, at least into the 160, one to 162 and 163. So Apple looks very good for that continuation higher. XOM, Exxon Mobil, don't forget that reports earnings on Friday before the market opens. Very strong structure with support into the $70.50 and it has resistance into the 73.30 cents. If we blast over this resistance, we're gonna continue higher. In fact, I do like the weekly chart inside, pretty much inside structure. If we trade above $72.72, cents, this is gonna have a much further continuation higher into the 74. Uh, 76 and back into the 80s. I really like XOM. XOM is gonna be on my list. Target. Target. All right, let's uh, talk about Target right now because monthly chart was actually looking. It's actually looking fabulous here. Uh, the high uh, is 72.44. If we print a 72.46, we're off to the races back into the 75. Love this uh, reversal onto the monthly chart. The weekly chart progression higher. Uh, we closed very strong back into this resistance the fact that we have tackled so we had here take a look at this so we had two weeks in which we pretty much stabilized and we for the first time we broke above this 200 simple moving average now the price is way the moving average is way behind uh, back into the, this resistance and i think that these two weeks right here have just digested not only the 200 simple moving average but also these prior highs back into the 72 and change we're ready to blast. We have a really nice tradable void all the way into the $76. So I really like the way Target is shaping up. SLB, promise you only two more stocks on my watch. Uh, and definitely there are gonna be way more stocks on my uh, on our watch list, on our hot list actually, as we're starting the week. And once we're uh, gonna put some of the earnings behind us, those stocks are gonna be uh, on our major watch. $45, very strong close of the week in slumber shay and it's getting ready for a monthly reversal this is the time this is the time of the year when uh, these energy stocks are starting to wake up a little bit 46 dollars and 65 cents we blast over it we're gonna go back into the 53 uh, 53 to 55 this is gonna be like a twin tower reversal here with the blast uh with a blast over 46 but uh, this is the monthly chart. Now, let's see how the weekly is shaping up. Weekly, weekly is strong, ready to uh, set new highs for this week continuation into the $49. Last but not least, Costco. Now, Costco was brought to my attention uh, in my trading room from a trader. And uh, although I, I'm a little bit torn on, I have to admit, I'm a little bit torn on Costco. And uh, I'm going to just just um, uh, mention some of the things that I see here on Costco. First off, $200 is support, okay? $200 support. It's not only the low of this month, but it's also deriving from this prior high here uh, from, uh, from December, okay, in 2018. So this cluster right here is gonna create a lot of support for price at $200. Now, I admit $200 can also be a target level. Now, I want to show you the weekly chart. Weekly chart has a full weekly reversal, but it has not triggered yet. So last week we needed to trigger under 208.18 in order to, uh, in order uh, to, oh, no, I'm sorry. Let's see what the low is here, 208.16. Uh, it needed to trade below 208.16, so we needed to see some 14s or 10s printed out in order to have a full blown trigger, but we didn't. So we're holding still this area right here. Now, depending on how price is going to react, things may look to rotate and we may have here what is 
called a bull sandwich. So if this week we're going to start building up and if we're going to trade above these highs right here into the 213 or 214, I think the price is going to go back to 220. Now, of course, the low of this week is 208.74. If we break below 208.74, then we may still have some more correction to the downside. Like I said, there are a lot of traders that I that see a target of $200 and I agree, but I'm literally a bit torn because of the positioning onto the monthly chart. So technicals on the weekly chart, technicals onto the daily chart suggest selling pressure, but at the same time, I cannot ignore what the monthly is showing us. Uh, okay, so this is the weekly chart. The daily chart, however, it has a golden cross moving right down but we still have the 200 simple moving average and we have support from this price action so pretty much here from the beginning of january we had some bottoming tails bottoming tails bottoming tails and the price held down really really strong we had a doji it was trying to eliminate and then we get a, got a little bit of selling pressure here but we're right into on the daily chart we're right into the to, uh, 20 simple moving average don't forget that there are going to be a lot of algos here that are going to pick the price and perhaps push it a little bit a little bit higher so i'm going to hold on the stock a little bit all right uh, what i what i want to show you here on the uh on the hourly level is that we're not very bearish all in all because we do have the 200 simple moving average and we have all this cluster to the left hand side that is projecting a lot of support on price so basically what i'm going to be doing here is i'm going to go to the four hour chart as confusing as can be all right but it's not as confusing so i'm going to look for a break over 200 uh, uh 210 uh 210 40 okay and i'm going to create this alert here over 40 because this is to, this to me is going to be a buy point okay so this to me is going to be a buy point with a very low risk below this candle's low so i'm going to be looking for a four hour reversal and you can see here that we had a little bit in the uh in the oh, in the after session we have a, we had a little bit of green here so uh we'll see what that is going to bring so this is all for this week it's been a long video um about 32 minutes so far I hope you all have a great week. Don't forget that we're going to have uh, a swing trading class and the swing trading class uh, will start on February 18th. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a one week long class. And if you're interested, you can email info at tradeoutloud.com and we will send you all the information. Uh, if you want to participate in our trading room where we uh, day trade futures and swing trade futures and stocks, feel free to uh, look on our page. Uh, it is a live trading room, tradeoutloud.com forward slash live trading room. Go to our website and find more information there. Thanks so much, guys. Hope you all have a profitable trading week and I'll see you next week.